So crack lads, it's I Dizzy HD here from On The Ball Gaming and today I've got a quick little hybrid squad builder for you guys and uh, yeah, let's take a look at the team. So uh, in net we do have Julio Cesar, he's not bad, you know, he's not outstanding and he's not um, he's not bad so uh, yeah that's why I went with him. Uh, right back we have Danilo. Um, He's fairly good to be honest, as you can see, all his stats are above 75, apart from his shooting, obviously 74. But you know, them stats are just absolutely unbelievable for a non-rare right back. Then at left back we have his teammate and fellow countryman Alexandro. Um, really good stats on him too, really good all, all round uh, left back. Um, I know I have him as a left wing back, but um, the reason for that is I, he was the cheapest on the market at the time. And uh, yeah, so I just bought him and I might be able to make a profit on him because he is a uh, left wing back. And then in two centre backs we do have Naldo, Naldo um, and Juan Jesus. Naldo is definitely one of my favourite centre backs in this game, you know, he's really big so he wins everything in the air. Um, he's fairly fast as well so he gets around the pitch, his defending is really good and he's really strong obviously um, because he is 6 foot 6. That high medium work rate lads, don't worry about that, um, he still holds his position very well. Then the other centre back spot we do have Juan Jesus. Now you can't have any centre back you want there who is Brazilian, um, but I decided to go with him because I never used him before and I heard a lot of people say good things about him. Um, I probably would prefer to have Miranda in that uh, position there, but um, I had Miranda in another team and I was using this team as a fitness squad. So uh, yeah, that's the reason why we had Juan Jesus. He's pretty good, you know, um, I didn't really notice him doing anything great, but he didn't make any mistakes. No, he held his position well, and he just did a solid job there. In the two centre mid spots, we do actually have two CDMs. The first one being Luis Gustavo, definitely one of, if not my favourite CDM in this game. Um, medium high work rates, which is um, essential for me, really, uh, with a CDM. Uh, six foot two, 74 pace, 83 defending and 82 physical. That's just what you want um, on a CDM. And it's pretty much the same goes for Fernando and he's a bit cheaper obviously being a non-rare uh, 400 coins medium high work rate he's a bit smaller a lot smaller to be honest and um, but still he does a great job in there 78 pace 77 defending 78 physical what more could you ask for from a player that costs uh, 400 coins and because of him we can get Douglas Costa into this team and um, obviously uh, you may have heard a lot of things about this guy I know I have a lot of youtubers talking about him uh, four goals and two assists in seven games isn't bad for a cam but to be honest I think if you want to get the best out of Douglas Costa you need to play him as a striker and um, because he's a bit non-existent for my liking and um, in that camp position and then up front as the main striker we had Nani uh, playing as a striker and um, obviously he is a right forward but um, yeah, I think he suits that spot fairly well you might have seen a lot of people do this on YouTube and um, but I have done it a lot myself this year as well and um, he gets 6 chem and he obviously does do a good job as you can see by them stats. 9 goals in 7 games with 4 assists. High low work rates, 4 star weak foot, 5 star skill moves. And um, he's got some pretty decent card stats as well. So you know what more could you ask for um, in a striker. In the right wing position we have Ricardo Caresma who is actually back in FIFA this year. Um, I have been looking forward to him coming back to FIFA because uh, um, in the last few uh, FIFAs like FIFA 14 I like enjoyed playing with him in like offline mode and stuff like that. I have no idea why he wa wasn't in Ultimate Team. But, um, yeah, some fairly decent stats on him as well. Four star week full five star skill moves just like Nanny. And as you can see, he got four goals and two assists in this team. And onto the left winger now, we do have Shikabala. Um, he's actually the first silver I ever used in uh, FIFA 15 this year. And uh, five star skill moves, fairly good card stats. You know, he's six foot, high low work rates as well. Um, and yeah, he seemed to pop up in uh, the right place at the right time, uh, you know, for sweat goals and stuff like that. But uh, five goals and one assist is fairly good for a silver left winger. So uh, yeah, that's the team guys, I've no goals today, um, simply because, I don't know, I don't think I really needed to show goals for this team. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more squad builders, make sure you drop a like, comment down below what squad builder you'd like to see me do. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today guys, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.